Our objectives for this lesson are the following. 1. Define one-to-one -one function. 2. Determine if a relation of ordered pairs, table of values, mapping diagram, graph, and equation is a one-to-one -one function. And 3. Represent real-life situation using one-to-one -one functions. As a review, I suggest that you watch my playlist on videos regarding function or not. Let us define one-to-one -one function. A function is one-to-one, -one, denoted as 1-1, one -one, if every element of the range corresponds to exactly one element of the domain. It means, for any x sub 1 that is not equal to x sub 2 in the domain of f, then f of x sub 1 is also not equal to f of x sub 2. Or also, 1 to 1, if f of x sub 1 is equal to f of x sub 2, then it means that x sub 1 is equal to x sub 2. So it means, for any given y value, there is only one x that can be paired with the given y. Tell whether the given relation is a function or not a function. If it is a function, determine whether it is one-to-one -one or not one-to-one. -one. Let's have ordered pairs first. Let us examine the x values. We have 0, 1, 3, 4. Is there any x value that has been repeated? None. Therefore, this is a function. Now, let us examine the y values. We have negative 5 negative 4, negative 3, negative 2. Is there any y value that has been repeated? None. Therefore, this is a one-to-one -one function. Another one. X values are 7, negative 4, 6, and 0. Is there any x value that has been repeated? None. Therefore, this is a function. How about the y values? We have negative 3, negative 4, negative 1, and 9. Is there any y value that has been repeated? None. So, this means it is a one-to-one -one function. Another one. X values are negative 2, negative 1, 0, negative 1, positive 2. Is there any x value that has been repeated? Yes, that is negative 1. Therefore, this is not a function. If it is not a function, it cannot be a one-to-one -one function or not one-to-one. -one. Last one. X values are 2, 1, 0, and negative 1. Is there any x value that has been repeated? None. Therefore, this is a function. Let us examine the y values. We have 4, 1, 0, and 1. Is there any y value that has been repeated? Yes, that is 1. Therefore, this is a function but not 1 to 1. Now, let us have table of values. X values are negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Since there is no X value that has been repeated, this means this is a function. Now, let us examine the Y values. Negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, 4. Again, there is no y value that has been repeated. Therefore, this is a function and this is a one-to-one -one function. Another one. X values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Since no x value has been repeated, this is a function. Let's have the y values. 2, 3, 8, 7, 2. 2 was repeated. So this means this is a function but not one-to-one. -one. Another one. X values are negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and negative 1. Negative 1 was repeated. Therefore, this is not a function. Now, let us have mapping diagram. If you are not used in determining if it is a function or not by simply looking, I suggest you convert it into a set of ordered pairs. So, the equivalent set of ordered pairs for this is 1, 5, 2, 6, 3, 7, and 4, 6. Looking at the x values, nothing was repeated, therefore this is a function. Looking at the y values, 6 was repeated, therefore this is a function but not 1 to 1. Let's have another one. The equivalent set of ordered pairs for this is 1, 5, 2, 6, 2, 11, and 3, 8. 
looking at the x values, 2 was repeated. Therefore, this is not a function. Another one. The equivalent set of ordered pairs for this is 1, 5, 2, 6, and 3, 7. Since no x value has been repeated, therefore this is a function. And since there is no y value also that has been repeated, this is a 1 to 1 function. Now let us have graphs. Here is a simple rule. A graph is a 1 to 1 function if it satisfies both the vertical and horizontal line test. Let's have an example. We are going to make use first of the vertical line test. It says, a graph is a function if one vertical line drawn anywhere intersects the graph at exactly one point. Let us move our vertical line going to the right. You notice that the vertical line intersects any part of the graph at exactly one point. Therefore, this is a function. Now, let's have the horizontal line test. It has the same concept with the vertical line test. This time, let's move it going down. Any part of the graph intersects the horizontal line just once. Therefore, this is a one-to-one -one function. Let us have another one. Again, vertical line test first. As the vertical line moves going to the right, it intersects the graph at exactly one point. Therefore, this is a function. Now, let's have the horizontal line test. As the horizontal line goes down, it intersects the graph at two points. Therefore, it fails the horizontal line test. So it means this graph is a function, but not one-to-one. -one. Another one. Again, vertical line test first. As the vertical line moves going to the right, it intersects the graph at two points. Therefore, this graph is not a function. This time, let's have equations. Here is a test for one-to-one -one function. Like what I've mentioned in the definition earlier, if f of x is equal to f of y, then x is equal to y. Let's have an example. Is f of x equals 5x plus 2 a one-to-one -one function? We'll see. So f of x is equal to f of y. Our f of x is 5x plus 2. Now for f of y, we simply have to replace x with y. So this will become 5y plus 2. So 2 and 2 will be cancelled out, leaving us with 5x equals 5y. And then we divide both sides by 5. So 5 and 5 will be cancelled out also on this side. So we will be left with x is equal to y. Since x is equal to y, then f of x equals 5x plus 2 is a 1 to 1 function. Let's have another example. Is f of x equals 4x minus 1 all over 7 a 1 to 1 function? Let's test. So f of x equals f of y. For f of x, we simply have to copy this. For f of y, we'll replace x with y. So 4x minus 1 all over 7 is equal to 4y minus 1 all over 7. To eliminate the denominator, let us multiply both sides by 7. So 7 and 7 here will be cancelled out and also on this side. So we will be left with 4x minus 1 equals 4y minus 1. Then negative 1 and negative 1 will be cancelled out. So we have 4x equals 4y. Dividing both sides by 4, we have x is equal to y. Therefore, f of x equals 4x minus 1 all over 7 is 1 to 1. Let's have one more. Is f of x equals x squared a 1 to 1 function? Let's see. So f of x is equal to f of y. Our f of x is equal to x squared. So for f of y, this will become y squared. So we have x squared is equal to y squared. Let us take the square root of both sides. From our definition, it says that for any given y value, there is only one x that can be paired with the given y. So we're going to consider the positive square root of our y squared, and that is y. For the square root of x squared, we have positive and negative x. Therefore, f of x equals x squared is not a one-to-one -one function.
because there are two possible partners for a single value of y. Now, for you to understand it better, let's graph it. So here is the graph of f of x equals x squared. Let's have the vertical line test first. As the vertical line moves going to the right, it intersects the graph at one point. So this is a function. Now let's have the horizontal line test. Even without moving the horizontal line, it intersects the graph at two points. Therefore, this is a function but not one-to-one. -one. Here's another way to look at it. Let us substitute the value here. Let us say 2. If our x is 2, then 2 is squared is 4. So our ordered pair is 2, 4. Now let us say our x is negative 2. So negative 2 is squared is also 4. So our ordered pair is negative 2, 4. Looking at the x, it was not repeated. So this is a function. But for the y, 4 is repeated. Hence, f of x equals x squared is not 1 to 1. Now, let us have real-life situations. Number 1. The relation pairing a student to his or her LRN. Since each student is unique, therefore, this is a function. Now, for the LRN, no two students have the same LRN. And likewise, no two LRNs belong to a single student. So this is actually a one-to-one -one correspondence because each student has a particular LRN. Another one, a cell phone model to its manufacturer company. Let us take for example F3. It's a model from Oppo. F11 too, as well as A9. So there could be many different models to one particular manufacturing company. It's a many-to-one correspondence, and many-to-one is a function. But having said that, therefore, this is not one-to-one. -one. Another one, airport and its airport code. Each airport has a particular code, so this is a function and it is one-to-one. -one. Last one, fare in a jeepney to distance covered. We have a minimum fare in a jeepney that can cover 1 kilometer, 2 kilometers, 3 kilometers, and 4 kilometers at most. So that is a one-to-many correspondence. And one-to-many correspondence is not a function. Some quick tips. First, for a function to be one-to-one, -one, there should be no x and y values repeated in the relation. And second, a graph is one-to-one -one if it satisfies both the vertical and horizontal line tests. Now, it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video if you need more time. Here are the answers. For number one, let us first use the vertical line test. So as the vertical line moves going to the right, it intersects the graph at one point. So this is a function. Now the horizontal line test. As it goes down, it intersects the graph at three points. So this is a function, but not one-to-one. -one. Number two. Since 2 is repeated in ordered pairs 2, 5, and 2, 7, therefore, this is not a function. Number 3, no x value has been repeated, no y value has been repeated, therefore, this is a function, and this is 1 to 1. Number 4, negative 3 is repeated, so this is not a function. Number 5, cell phone numbers to its unit. Some cell phone has two SIM cards. Thus, it has two sets of cell phone numbers paired to a single unit. And that is a many-to-one correspondence. And many-to-one is a function but not one-to-one. -one. Gets?